From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Oh, baby, it's chilly out there. It's not super cold, but it is really chilly compared to where we've been. February has been nice to us. We've talked about that this week. Been averaging about 10 degrees above normal. All of a sudden, we had the reality check. Temperatures today struggling it up to the north. You guys in the 40s, and you're down in the 30s. Now, if you're in southeast Oklahoma, you're in the 60s. It was 71 down in, into portions of southeastern Oklahoma, McCurtain County. And that's pretty impressive when you get down the southeast corner. But again, the mountains kind of helped out here in southeast Oklahoma. Uh, so it made a difference, made it slower for that cold air to get in before we actually got into the time period of late afternoon. And so with the winds, though, they were howling across the area. 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts were common across much of the area. So again, you had to hang on to your hat because uh, of wind and hair and everything else blowing around. Wind gusts still at this hour hanging in there, unfortunately, making it a really cold evening. 33 mile an hour wind gusts at this moment in Muskogee, 24 here in Tulsa, 30 up in Coffeyville, 27 down at McAllister. But you get the general idea. It's windy. As far as looking at maximum wind gusts tonight, this is going to make it a cold night. The winds are going to be dying down as we go through tonight, but not much. So overnight, usually the winds will die down 5, 10 miles per hour. But uh, tonight, so that cold air that's infecting into the area. So our average winds will be around 20 miles an hour. You throw that in with temperatures falling into the 20s, you go, holy moly, that's cold. And then by the time we get on in tomorrow afternoon, the winds are dying down considerably. But still, during the morning hour, especially for the Martin Luther King Parade, still have to bundle up a little bit. So wind chills right now are in the 20s to around 30 from Tulsa to the north. And by the time we get on into tomorrow morning, the wind chills will be in the teens to low 20s if you're south. So that's kind of like, yeah, it's February. Yes, it's still winter. And yes, we still have to deal with that. And it looks like I was just looking at some new data with station. It looks like we still have a couple of big cold fronts coming in into March that we'll deal with. Clouds are back across the area. Some stratus above us and wind gusts at 24 miles an hour right now. 61% humidity. Most of our temperatures are in the 30s. But as I just said, the wind chills are in the 20s. So that makes a huge difference. And we're looking for those winds again overnight to hang with us. By early Saturday morning, there's even snow out to the northwest of us and into the panhandle of Oklahoma just to remind us of what season it really is after feeling like spring should get started. Right now, though, we're looking for the parade to be pretty good. Uh, again, you just have to bundle up. It's better than it was originally when it was scheduled, so that's welcome news, but it is a chilly day, and with the sunshine, that'll help with partly to mostly clear skies. Uh, temperatures for Saturday afternoon not going too far too fast, though. That's still some of that really, really cold air coming in out of the northern plains. By Sunday morning, again, another cold morning frosty start. We're in the 20s across the entire state, down to 22 in Pryor and 21 over in Fayetteville. Afternoon, pretty good rebound, mid to upper 50s. Tulsa back to the west, a few degrees cooler to the north and to the east. So no rain now, the way it looks. Things are kind of quieting down in terms of storm systems. So we're kind of drying out. The next chance of any rain or a pass passing thunder shower, pretty uh, slim, and that's on Thursday at this point. But our temperatures, we're going from really cold to all of a sudden really warm. And so once again, looks like we're going to be ending February on a warm note, and that should keep us in maybe the top five of all time. So the jet stream is doing its thing right now with the cold air, but once this cold air gets through, it's time for spring. Not officially, but just for a while. All right, here's the way the forecast shapes up. We're looking at temperatures cold and uh, 34 and windy tonight through the morning hours. Those winds still hanging in there, so wind chills in the teens. And then the winds at noon are still running 10 to 20 with occasional gusts to 25. That's why, again, for the parade, you guys have to still wear a pretty good-sized coat. As we look at the extended forecast, then we start to get that spring fever thing going again. We have a cold front on Thursday with a chance of a shower, but, man, those are some uh, pretty amazing temperatures as you look forward. As long as you're not looking just in the near future. Mm -hmm. it's Look a little further a little forward. Further down. All right. It's spring, just not real spring. Yeah. Yes. It's fake spring. Remember it that. <laughs> exactly. Just remember that. Yes. Fake spring part two. Yeah. <laughs>